Chicago sports fans their athletic pride. But next month, the Windy City can take stock in an entirely different pastime at its most prestigious event, the 26th Annual Mr. Olympia Bodybuilding Championships. Two aspects of this year's event make it unique from the past. First, the 20 competing pro athletes will be subjected to urinalysis testing of anabolic steroids and diuretics. With the results being returned before the pre-judging, no bodybuilder will appear if he has been tested positive. And the second exciting factor is whether six-time Mr. Olympia Lee Haney can capture his seventh consecutive crown, which would tie Arnold Schwarzenegger's record. Lee has been training in Houston with top-ranked boxer Evander Holyfield, and according to our sources, is presently a ripped 246 pounds, which is five pounds lighter than his 89 competition weight. Also training in Houston is the other Lee, Labrada, that is, who many feel should have defeated Haney last year in Rimini, Italy. Mr. Symmetry has his tunnel vision sight set on the Mr. O crown, but at 5'3", the question of overall muscle mass still lingers in the shadows. A newcomer to the pro scene, Big Eddie Robinson watched Labrada guest pose at the Junior Florida just one week before the Olympia. And although Eddie thought Lee looked good, he feels that he is in even better shape. The 89 USA winner won his first pro contest, the 90 Gold Invitational in Niagara Falls. And with well over 200 pounds on his 5'6 inch frame, Eddie will be a major threat as one of the most muscular competitors on stage. Another man known for his mass is the mighty Mike Quinn, who placed a disappointing seventh last year. But he has worked diligently to reshape his physique. And although he thinks the advent of testing will change the sheer mass of bodybuilders, Mike maintains confidence about his condition. Um, I think the guys are going to be smaller, and um, we're going to all have different looks. I think I'll, I'll get away with it more than other people because I'm genetically more gifted and um, I have a heavily muscular physique. So, and plus, I still train with heavy weight, so I held a lot of my size. But I think there's going to be a noticeable difference in the people and the way they look. Another Olympia staple is New Jersey's Rich Gasparri, who took second to Haney in four straight showings before dropping to fourth position last year. Rich has continued to streamline his frame, especially focusing on his waist. But word is out that he will compete at as low as 210 pounds. And if that is the case, watch out for a massive ripped and ready Richie. Shocking many established pros by capturing third last year in his Olympia debut was Vince Taylor, who may have the impressive combination of mass and balance needed to oust Haney. Vince has vastly improved his back, once a weakness, and refined his overall shape. Mike Christian was slated as one of the possible Haney successors as far back as 1986, but the Iron Warrior has never quite peaked for the occasion. This year, Mike says things are different, including his physique. I'm not as big as I was uh, you know, last year or the year before, but I think my uh, physique, my symmetry looks quite a bit uh, better. Um, more balanced, um, I'm rock hard, I'm ripped to the bone, and uh, I think you'll see uh, a different Mike Christian, a different Iron Warrior on stage. Uh, Always a crowd favorite is Dutch boy Barry DeMay, a classic poser who's coming back from a serious pectoral tear that kept him from competing last year. The powerhouse gym spokesperson has been training in California, coached by his younger brother, Jorgen. 1990 Houston Pro winner J.J. Marsh will be making his debut at the O, carrying the muscle density and overall balance to do severe damage in the lineup. J.J.'s outlook on the show is one of respect, caution, and confidence. Another first-timer to the Olympia is the blonde myth Vinny Comerford, who at 5'3 and weighing over 180 pounds is pound for pound one of bodybuilding's most muscular competitors. Vinny needs a little more polish to his massive physique, but will add an interesting dimension to the Olympia battle. One of the most talked about athletes to watch out for is pro Ironman champion Sean Ray, who is said to be maintaining great thickness and muscle quality at a shredded 197 pounds. Sean won the Arnold Classic this year, but one week later was disqualified for testing positive for the anabolic steroid Sinanzanol, which he admits was an important lesson. Ohio for myself was a learning experience. I think testing to this day, and as an athlete, you really don't uh, put too much importance on drug testing. You put more importance on your training, your attitude, and your, your, uh, your diet and getting ready for the contest. Other up-and-comers to look out for include Austria's Andreas Munzer, Frenchman Francis Benfato, Algerian Mohamed Beneziza, Knight of Champions winner, 83 Mr. Olympia, Samir Banu, and Detroit Police Officer Big Ron Love. We won't offer our predictions, but we do look forward to seeing a steroid-free Mr. Olympia lineup and perhaps a new Mr. Olympia.